All right, what I wanna do here really quickly is talk about the difference between function declarations and function expressions. So when you're doing these online tutorials, you'll see two different ways to do things. Some people prefer to do it one way, others prefer to do it the other way. It can leave you to be very confused in terms of which way you wanna do it, right? Which way is more professional? In the end, it's just a matter of personal preference. There are some slight differences between the two. So let me cover those really quickly. So we already know if we declare a variable, we use something like the keyword const, the keyword let, or the keyword var, followed by the variable name. So if we declare a function, okay, we're doing the same thing basically. We're using the keyword function, okay, followed by the name of the function. So let's do something like function, we'll do multiply numbers, okay? And I'm gonna put some parameters inside these parentheses here. So I'm just gonna do num1 for number one, num2 for number two, and num3 for number three, okay? And all this guy is going to do, it's going to take these guys, these parameters here, and it's gonna multiply them together, and it's gonna return that. So I'm going to return, okay? num1 times num2 times num3, okay? So again, you're gonna pass these guys in, okay, when you call this function, and then it's going to take those values, multiply them together, and return that, okay? So let's go ahead and call this guy. Remember, you wanna either set this as a variable, so you could do something like const my product is equal to, okay, multiply numbers, and then put your numbers in there. So let's do like two and six and five. So two times six is 12, 12 times five is 60, okay? Now, this just stores 60 in this my product variable. You would still need to do a console.log, okay, to see this in the console. So let's do my product there. Additionally, if you wanted to make this quicker, you can just wrap this thing inside of a console.log statement, okay? So inside the parentheses there. So let's pop open the terminal. Let's run this. And we do, in fact, get 60 as expected. Now, let's talk about another way that you could have set this up. So this is called the function declaration. We type the keyword function, then the name of the function, you know, so on and so forth. The other way to do this, let's go ahead and come down here. I'm gonna do something like const, and I'm just going to do multiply numbers, let's say two, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing. So num1, num2, num3, okay? Open up my code block, and I'm just going to return the same thing. So num1 times num2 times num3. Okay, so some key differences here. Well, I forgot to put function, so this is equal to function, okay, so you need that. So some key differences here, again, up here, this is a function declaration. I type the keyword function, followed by a function name, so on and so forth. Here, what I did in this particular case, sometimes it's not gonna be this way, but I set up a variable, okay, and then I'm assigning to that this function here, which in this case is an anonymous function because the function itself does not have a name. We just have function, the keyword, and then some parentheses with some parameters, and then our code block. Okay, so this is called an anonymous function. We're gonna work with these a lot in JavaScript, but for right now, the key difference here is, notice that I've assigned this guy right here to a variable, okay? So in this case, we have a function expression, all right? So let's just go ahead and do const my product two, and I'll do multiply numbers, okay? And I'll do multiply numbers two, actually, to be consistent here. And I'm gonna use the same number, so two, six, and five, okay? And now I'm going to console.log this my product two, okay? My product two. So we have this console.log of my product, okay, from line five, and then on line 11, we have my product two that's being logged to the console. So let's go ahead and clear this and run this, and we get 60 twice, okay? So these two things, as far as we're concerned, did the exact same thing. Now, let me show you something kind of weird. Let's take this up here. So I'm gonna cut this and I'm going to put it here. So right now, and actually let me grab this and put it at the very top. So at the very top of this file, I'm going to put this in here. So you see that we're trying to set my product two equal to multiply numbers two with two, six, and five as the arguments. So that has to come down here and get this, okay? So let's go ahead and run this real quick and see what we get. So let's clear this and let's run this. And you see, cannot access this multiply numbers two before initialization. So with a function expression, you have to make sure that your code is in order. So in other words, I need to set this up first before I can basically reference it or talk about it in any way. So if I cut this and I come back down here and paste this in, now it'll work fine, right? So let me move this down and let me move this back up. If I pop open the terminal again, clear this and run this, we're back to it working. Okay, now here's where the weird thing comes in. If you grab this guy, okay, and let's grab this guy. So I meant to grab these two lines. So let's grab these two lines. 
Let's cut this away and let's put this up here. So now I'm referencing this function declaration here, this function, this first one we set up with multiply numbers. So I'm doing the same thing that I just tried to do, but now you're going to see that it actually works. Okay. So if we pop this open and clear this and run this, it's 60 and 60. So you might be thinking, why is there an error with one, but not with the other? Well, this has to do with something called hoisting. Okay. And this is not an advanced JavaScript concept, but just not something we're ready to discuss yet. So just know that if you deal with a function declaration, you can, it's not a good practice, but you can work with that function before you've actually set it up in your code. Okay. So just like we've done here, if you have a function expression, you're not allowed to do that. Okay. So it's going to give you an error. So let's just look at one more example. Okay. I'm just going to do a longer example and I'll just do this one more time with you just so that you understand the difference between the two. So let's do a function declaration. So I'm going to do function and let's just do something like my age. And I'm going to put a parameter of first name and also a parameter of the birth year. Okay. And we'll get the birth year from JavaScript. So let's set up a little variable. I'm going to go const year, year, not yeast. And then what I want to do is type new and then date. Remember we worked with this before. So we want the parentheses and then dot get full year. Okay. And you want parentheses again. Okay. So this right here is going to give me the year that it is currently. So for me, it's 2021. If I console.log this year variable here, we can just come down here and call this now. So my age in this particular case, because I have a console.log in here, it's going to run this guy right here. And it's going to tell me what the year is. So let's go ahead and pop this open, clear this and run this. We get 2021. Okay. As expected. Now let's get rid of this. We're not going to call this till later and we're not going to have a console.log in here. What I want to do now is basically return a string here and I'm going to use some back ticks and basically I'm going to put the first name variable and then I'm going to put is and then dollar sign curly braces. I'm going to put the current year. Okay. Which again I have is 2021 minus the birth year, which is something you would pass in and then you'll put year or years old. Okay. Depending on what it is. And let's put a semicolon in there. So now let's go ahead and set up a little variable. Let's go const and we'll do current age and we'll say this is equal to my age. I'm going to call this. I'm going to pass in John. Okay. And for the birth year, I'm going to pass in 1988. Okay. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Let's clear this and let's run this. And of course we didn't console.log the variable. So we need to do that. So console.log the current age variable. Let's pop this back open. Try that again. So now we get John is 33 years old. Okay. So that's as expected. Again, another way to do this would be the other function expression. Let me just show you this one more time. If we cut this, pop this open, put this here, pop this back open and run this again, same thing. This is the hoisting, right? So it's allowed to be used before we set it up. So let's come back down here. I'm going to cut this away and put this back in. And I'm just going to change this and say const my age is equal to you have the function. You're going to delete the name right here. Okay. So we have an anonymous function here. Okay. But again, we still call it in the same way. So this would work fine. So we pop this open, clear this and run this. We still get John is 33 years old. And again, if you take this guy and you cut it away, you put it up here. This again is going to give you an error, right? So you pop this open and clear this and run this and you get cannot access my age before initialization. So hopefully this clears up some confusion for you. Again, if you're working through some tutorials online, you see these two different ways. Now you know that it actually doesn't really make much of a difference. It's just a matter of personal preference. The only thing that's going to change is whether or not you're trying to basically access the function before you've set it up, which is a bad practice anyway.